there are about 2.5 million ants for every human on Earth. Do not be deceived by their sizes. Ants can outlast, outnumber, and outwit many animals much larger than themselves. Humans ain't safe from this army of tiny workaholics either. They are highly organized, super strong, can listen without ears, and even communicate with each other chemically. Isn't that cool? Their complex, cooperative societies enable them to survive and thrive in conditions that would normally challenge any individual. So why are they so successful? And why are they a terror to most other animals? You will learn this and more in this video. So let's dig in. Ants are one of the most popular insects in the world, with some estimates putting their population at about 20 quadrillion. They are also one of the most plentiful. Ants are especially prevalent in tropical forests, where they may be up to half of all the insects living in some locations. According to a new study, it's been revealed that elephants in the savanna have every reason to be scared of these tiny insects. Though discovered by accident, this surprising observation was made by researchers from the University of Florida while examining the ecosystem in the East African savanna. While the researchers were going about their usual activities, they observed that a group of hungry elephants devoured most trees in the area, but kept their distance from one species of acacia. Their initial assumption was that the species of the tree could be the issue, but upon closer examination, they discovered armies of ants on the tree. Still in doubt, several different experiments were conducted to ascertain why the elephants kept their distance. The ants were stripped and placed on different trees and every time. The elephants never ventured close to any tree with the ants on them. While ants are mostly found marching on trees, hordes of angered ants can crawl up into elephant trunks if they feed from such trees. With the inside of an elephant's trunk being tender, full of nerve endings, and highly sensitive, thousands of biting ants swarming up into it is certain to get an elephant dancing the Tootsie Roll in severe pain. Lions ain't safe either, considered one of the most dangerous animals on the planet and constantly devouring other animals. The lion is still no match for these tiny creatures. The siafu ant or safari ant is the tiniest animal that can cause any mammal, however large, to move away from where it was because of its bites. Lions are especially scared of the siafu ant, known as the African driver ant. Many naturalists and animal hunters in Africa have told tales of the strange phenomenon where herds of elephants, even lions, flee away from these ants. Siafu ants are mean. They are formidably armored with machete jaws. These nasty ants can hack and dice their prey with remarkable speed. Their power rests in their numbers, causing lions to run or move away from them as they move in swarms. They are more than capable of inflicting fatal bites on lions and causing serious discomfort for them. But the lions know better than to put up a fight. They always avoid these ants like the plague. Another ant species worth noting is the Argentine ant. Argentine ants are one of the world's most problematic ant species. They are aggressive and territorial and known to be one of the world's top 10 invasive species. While they are not poisonous, their bite is no joke. Argentine ants have killed and displaced native invertebrates that many indigenous species depend on. In Australia, they have used their numbers and efficiency to displace most of the native ants that used to roam around, some of which were 10 times their size. Argentine ants are known to eat lizards and raid bird nests to devour eggs and newly hatched chicks. They potentially threaten endangered populations. We are still not out of the woods. Army ants, also known as nomads, are another species worth mentioning. They are notorious for the destruction of any plant and animal life in their path. Also, the red imported fire ant introduced into Alabama from South America can inflict painful stings. There's also the invasive tawny crazy ant, also known as the hairy crazy ant. This ant species is extremely difficult to control. It's considered to be a major pest and threat to native species, animals, and ecosystems. All of this then raises the question of what makes these ants seem so unique and formidable that they can reduce animals multiple times their size to nothing. What are ants made of? You may start to wonder. Let's take our time then to observe and learn about these tiny wonders. Ants are insects of the Formicidae family, 
with the highest level of social organization. There are over 10,000 known ant species around the world. Their elbowed antennae and the distinct node-like structure that forms their tiny waist help to identify them. Ants are typically black, brown, or red, with segmented bodies, head, thorax, and abdomen, connected by a narrow waist. They have two sets of jaws. The outer pair of jaws is used for carrying objects, such as food or for digging, while the inner pair is used for chewing. Some species also have a powerful sting at the tip of the abdomen. Ants typically live in decaying plants, mounds of soil, and leaves. Ants form colonies of varying sizes. While some colonies may contain only a few dozen predatory individuals living in small cavities, whereas others may occupy large territories and include millions of individuals, these colonies are described as superorganisms, and indeed, that is a term well earned. This is because ants often appear to operate as a unified entity, jointly working together to support the colony. They have colonized nearly every landmass on Earth, leaving very few places free of them. The only places lacking indigenous ants are Antarctica and a few remote islands. There are generally three castes or hierarchies within a colony queens, males, and workers. Some ant species live in the nests of other species as parasites. Why? Because they can. They would take over our homes too if we were not so intelligent. When it comes to communication, since they have no mouths or ears, they communicate with each other using pheromones, sounds, and touch. Most ants live on the ground. They therefore use the soil surface to leave pheromone trails that may be followed by other ants. Ants use these pheromones for more than just just making trails. Crushed ants emit a different pheromone, similar to an alarm, that sends nearby ants into an attack or defensive frenzy. This just attracts more ants from farther away, and any animal in their way pays dearly for it. Ants, as little as they are, can carry objects 100 times their own body weight in their jaws. When working together in large numbers, ants produce more force and carry larger objects. While you may wonder why this is so, reports from Arizona State University have shown that due to their small size, ants' muscles have a greater cross-sectional area relative to their body size when compared to larger animals. Additionally, ants are enthusiastically social insects. They are headed by a queen or queens whose function is to continually lay thousands of eggs that will ensure the survival of the colony. They typically live in structured nest communities that may be located underground, in ground-level mounds, or trees. Carpenter ants take up their nest in wood and can be destructive to buildings. Some species, such as army ants, defy the norm and are nomads. These species seek out food for their enormous colonies during periods of migration. Equally importantly, these tiny creatures live live by some sort of no-man-left-behind rule. Ants don't just leave their fellow ants alone when carrying huge objects. They help each other. This is why they are sure to come out in large numbers whenever they perceive the alarm pheromone from one of them. And remember, there are 2.5 million of them to every single one of us. Now, let's talk about their defensive tactics. Ants attack and defend themselves by biting. Most sting, often injecting or spraying chemicals. Bullet ants, also known as parapanera, that can be found in Central and South America, are considered to have the most painful sting of any insect. However, the sting of jack jumper ants, another species, can be so fatal to humans that an anti-venom had to be developed for it. Imagine finding yourself in the ER because of an ant sting. That is how serious these tiny soldiers should be taken. Some ants that lack a sting can spray formic acid. This acid causes irritation to the victim if it gets in the eyes or wounds produced by the ant's mandibles. Multiple stings from venomous ants are known to have resulted in the death of wild animals in North, Central, and South America. While every ant species differs in attributes and fatality, there is no doubt they are worthy of our utmost respect.